Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Misha Serkunov and Patrick Cummins. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. Power, power, power as he makes the walk tonight, no denying what he'll be trying to do to unleash some of the more devastating kicks we have seen in the UFC in years. Just brutally powerful, and oftentimes he'll do major damage just by landing one or two kicks to that lead leg or to the body, thereby changing the complexion of the fight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr. entered this young man. Scary, scary power on his kicking game. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 10 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Patrick Cummins! And now, he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A judo wrestler, holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkunov! And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Are you ready? We so are fun. underway. Cummins has very good kicks, especially his left switch. Good boxing, excellent conditioning, and good transitions off the clinch. The Canadian Sirkunov gets hit with a kick. Caught him with a punch. All right, so here we go. First round is underway. You know his background as a wrestler, so how early will he shoot and go for that takedown attempt? You got to think going into this matchup, he will want to take this fight to the ground. He's looking to take the back. Back to the feet now. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful jab. Serkunov gets caught by the inside leg kick. He got tagged there. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Oh, how about the slam, Joe? And now is where things could get really interesting. Back to his feet. He landed that inside leg kick. Great takedown defense right there. Very nicely done. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Sirkunov. Oh, that one oh. appeared to stun him. Wow! Oh. That's it! He's that out! It. He's out! The fight is over! Wow! A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout.
Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's look at that again. Check out this angle here. Bang. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Patrick Connor. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon.